Hi, ho guys and gals, it's Red your Friendly Neighborhood Tool Bear back again here in the Den of Tools, and today we are talking about power yet again. This time we've got the Etel, Eteli, Et, I don't know how they pronounce it. Anyway, we got a 500 watt box here. This thing is actually, I know it's smaller than the last one, but the build construction on this blew me away. Everything about this box is solid and well made. It's hitting all the right, you know, the right marks if you want. It's got the the uh, the LiPo batteries rather than the lithium ion batteries. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get pause on with it, and then we'll talk more about the specs. Okay. So this is the Atheli solar panel here. This is. All the good kitties, and that is a mine over there pulling stuff up. There's our connectors. Got some D rings for hanging stuff. That is nice. Look at all these connectors it comes with. We got USB 2, USB 3, and DC out. And it has all your instructions right here on how to set it up. Plus, the unit itself. Comes with this case. All right. So on this side, we got solar connectors. We got a manual. We got a car adapter. We got them going both ways. We got the AC adapter here. Plug. Nice semi-rigid case. This thing is just rock solid. All right. Let's see. As far as the unit itself. Let's take a look at that. So we got we got power over here. We got the DC on, AC on. We got a full bank of USB. We got the solar in, AC in. This is a marine grade right here. This is marine grade. And then these are your dual ACs. Now as far as the rest of the stuff, the handles, top these are. These are kind of silly. I don't, I'm not a fan of those. We got a light down on the side. Nothing much on the back. Just a fan on that side. Well, there you go. There you have it. Now, before you judge it, I was not expecting it to be able to run the power tool. It's a 500 watt box, not a thousand watt box. And it's not a gas generator. And we look, look at the price though on this. With the solar cell, this package runs for $669.99. All right. Now, we if you want it just by itself, the unit is on sale for $480, which is not a bad price I realized the other one we were looking at was what six seven hundred dollars for a thousand watt, but your thousand watts of lithium ion power. This is five hundred watts of LifePo. Now the LifePo that's that's the iron phosphate. You're going to get way more recycles out of or recharge cycles out of it. You're going to get deeper use into the battery without damaging the battery. You don't have to worry about flare up that kind of stuff. It it's a better battery. Anybody who who does these kind of battery banks or solar power is going to tell you the same thing. You want the LifePo for battery in there. That and that said, the build quality on this is so much better than that last box that we talked about. This thing is fabulous. It's not without its flaws, but it is fabulous. And let's talk about some of the stuff here. All right, the uh, it's as I said, it's got the life po for batteries. It's 500 watts. Uh, it charges in about three to four hours from a wall outlet. Okay, now it has a pure sine wave inverter. That's awesome. It has two AC outlets. I know they look weird to some of you. These are like multi-use, multinational outlets. It's They've designed it so that from several different countries can plug into the same outlet. It's got the LifePo batteries, 3,500 charge cycles. It's got 500 watt capacity extension, and it's got an MPPT controller that can handle 500 watts. All right, you can put four panels on this thing and charge it from solar. That's quite a bit. Now, 
As far as w the things I don't like about it, the power buttons on this thing are the the control buttons. First of all, they're flush mount. They're completely smooth flush mount with the machine. They're practically the same color uh, as the machine. When you're out in bright light, you can't really tell the difference. The printing on this is not, there's not enough contrast, all right? It's all very subtle, looks very elegant, but when you're out in the field, like I'm out there, you saw in the bright desert, in, you know, bright sun in the desert, I was having a hard time seeing what I was doing. And the buttons to me, you know, I got big paws and you know, Jeff's got big paws. It's a little tiny for, you know, bear sized paws to be using this thing. The display here, during the day, worthless. Can't see a thing about it. Let me show you a quick shot here, shot of it at night. It bright, shiny, easy to see, great display at night that's kind of indicative across the board though i've yet to see a system that is really good during daylight hours um let's see what else did, did we not like or like about it that's this high speed charging that's great it's got all the ports you want you got your usb uh c's your us or usb a's as well you got the marine port dc charger kind of stuff great inputs separating the inputs and the outputs all that very nice the handles on top those were a complete joke uh, and the flashlight on the side, I don't get the need for that. I'm, if I'm going camping, I'm going to carry a flashlight. I don't need my the, my portable uh, battery box there to, to have that. That's just kind of ridiculous. Now, as far as I'll talk about the solar cells, let me jump over here. The solar cells there, $189 for one of these solar cells. Again, the solar cells just it jumped out at me. The, uh, the level of construction and the detail to the instructions printed right on the cells themselves. I thought that was fantastic. So you don't have to go looking for, you know, what if you only use this once every three or four months when you go camping or something like that? It, you have it right there. You don't have to worry about forgetting or anything like that. Um, easy to set up. They've got the stands built in, all that kind of stuff. As far as the solar aspect, being able to charge these things, you can plug one in, two, four of these in. You'll have to get a, a, an adapter cable if you want to do more than one. The drawback to these, they're heavy. They're much heavier than some of the other uh, semi-rigid cells that I've seen. These cells are not flexible. They are, they are firm, solid cells. They're high-quality cells. They're monocrystalline cells. They're high-quality cells. They do a great job. But they are not lightweight, and if, and if weight is an issue, these are not the cells for you. But they do fold up into a really compact size. And on top of that, you've got the, the case on the back here that holds everything. And this little box here, not only does that, you know, that's that your adapter that lets you plug into your power bank and everything, it's got USB-A and USB, uh, was it USB-A 2.0, USB-A 3.0, and a barrel charger on it. I, I thought that was ridiculous, but, you know, I guess if you're just out there and you want to charge some phones and stuff, you can set up your, your solar panel and do it. I mean, this, the build quality is fantastic on all this. And I know I keep harping on, on that, but it's true. That it's just ridiculous how well this thing is made. I just wish it, for me, I just wish it had more power. I wish, honestly, the souls, the solar cells were a little bit lighter. Although I'm going to be comparing them. We're going to be doing a solar power roundup here in a week or so. Uh, so make sure you subscribe if you want to find out more information about that. I, I wish the buttons were were easier to use. And I wish the handle was, was not... It feels really fragile, to be honest. It probably isn't. It just feels... It's small in my hand. Uh, and I found it one of the least user-friendly when picking up and carrying it it's not terrible I'm, I'm probably maybe exaggerating looking for flaws in this thing uh and and the price at 670 it, i guess technically it i mean with a solar panel that's not a bad price the the solar panel is uh you know i said top quality there anyway if you're looking for a high quality 500 watt you know battery box this is i wouldn't say it's a, a bad solution here they offer uh, a pretty decent warranty, a, a two-year warranty with this. Now, they are a startup company. Let's be honest about that, okay? they Their products are this solar station and solar cells. That's that's what they've got. Uh, the, and that's all that they've got. But hopefully they can do that right. Um, they, they say they're going to be coming out with more stuff in the future. But I'll say this. If, if, this, is, if this is their start, 
it's a darn good start. It, it really is. Now, I want to thank them for sending this over for review. I didn't buy this. They sent it to me kind of out of the blue, asked if they could send it over. I'm like, uh, sure, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Uh, let's see if there's any other things. We got uh, About Us. Let's see what they say about us, shall we? Uh, designed by Outdoor Adventures. We pray to artistry. It does, it, it definitely feels like, almost like Apple-inspired kind of uh kind of uh, construction and build like they're looking for that kind of look and feel which is fine if that's what you want honestly i i, I would have preferred something you know honestly a little bit clunkier because when i'm out and i'm doing stuff like that i i think that that's really what i i want ease of use i don't need it to be beautiful it's gonna sit on a desk it could be beautiful if it's going in my truck i want it to be you know uh more rugged if you would so anyway, let me know what you think about the if, if let me know what you think about how to pronounce this thing. All right, maybe they'll talk to me. I I teal. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's all the bears got for you today. You all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.